Hi and welcome to Anything But with Kumar De Silva, sponsored by LICC Jeans. My guest on the show is a young man who's taken the simple and humble sarama and made it into a couture item, not only in Sri Lanka but also in various parts of the world. I'm talking to Mr. Lovi Asanka Dibel. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Kumar. My pleasure. And before we talk about Lovi, let's talk about Asanka Dibel. So, as Freddie told me, you learned to swim in the Velavatta Canal. Yeah, absolutely. At St. Peter's, we only had the canal. But then the crocodiles and the alligators start suing us for, you know, kicking them out. So we had to actually build a pool. That, that, you mean they took it to court? Yeah, they took it to court, you know, and then the Peter paper got involved. It was a mind nightmare. Okay, right. <laughs> now, you actually uh, are very, uh, you have a tech life. Uh, uh, apart from Lovi, there's a huge tech life to you. Uh, what was that life like? Well, I uh, studied at Peter's. I spent uh, about 20 years in uh, technology especially early stage companies in the US. Uh, about How many years were you there? I was there for 22 years uh, to, all together uh, and about you know, college was about five years and then after that in actually tech industry. Uh, so uh, Silicon Valley, New York City, all the major companies uh, involved. So you left all that to come and sew and sell sarongs? We'll talk about that later on about absolutely, Lovie. Absolutely. About you. So, so what is your what was your tech life like? Well, I started off as a programmer um, at the very beginning, and then uh, I was one of those guys who can actually take both technology and the business side. So I kept getting promoted and moved from the tech side to the business side. And at the last job before I left to come to Sri Lanka, I was the head of sales. So you can see that you go from programming all the way to marketing to uh, sales. You are a very calm and very nice calm person but who is the Asanka behind that very calm uh, facade that I see? <laughs> is there another person? I think uh, what see, you... Okay, pause. When you're high, yeah. you're different. You're very, very well behaved but when you're drunk and when you're high after two and a half drinks, you're a very nice and warm and friendly person. Yes. Am I right? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I think I am like that even now, you know, quite friendly. <laughs> yeah, but you are very nice. You know, there's, there's, there's a nice distance. You know, very, very polite. But who is the real Asanka? The one that people don't know? The one that people don't see? Actually, I am generally calm. Uh, it's not that I am uh, I'm calm, methodical uh, and uh, focused, I would say. You know, then that may be the side that you don't see that much because generally we don't get to talk about how passionate and focused you are. Especially when you're doing something, I think one of the things I really learned from Silicon Valley is focus. Uh, being able to imagine things quite large, like uh, you know, say several years out, and then taking very strategic and focused steps. That's why you know, it's hard to convey that in a cocktail party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we are at the Kingsbury Hotel, timeless charm, timeless beauty, timeless elegance, uh, the premier five star in the heart of Colombo. Asanka, uh, I'm told that uh, mosquitoes uh, freak you out big time. <laughs> Absolutely. Why? Uh, I mean, you live in Sri Lanka, in Dehivala. Yes. And Dehivala is known to have its mosquitoes. Yes, that's exactly why I'm very freaked out about it because, first, uh, diseases are, it's very difficult to get rid of because, you know, you. It's hard to not have a mosquito bite living in Sri Lanka. Have you ever been bitten by a mosquito? I'm plenty been bitten by mosquitoes. So why does it freak you out? Because they can really get you uh, sick. Okay. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, uh, you know, could get dengue and uh, do get dengue, yeah, and it right. is dangerous. And uh, frankly, it takes you three, four weeks or maybe even more to recover. And I think that's, you know, it comes back to focus, right? You lose your focus for three, four weeks that's a so lot then, of time. I'm being very creative in no insult to this young man. What about a lovey mosquito net? <laughs> Branded yeah. and then you're like fine. I mean, that's a great idea. I'll put it on my to-do list, you know. I think that's a great idea. Why do they always have to come in white or pink or blue? Why not colours and batik, you know? Exactly, exactly. It's a fantastic idea, Kumar. You know, we can you know create like a Kumar de Silva version of the mosquito <laughs> net. <laughs> I mean the mosquito. Yeah. Now, um, you gym, do you? Or you don't like gyms, but you like running and jogging and stuff. Why? 
What's wrong with James? Actually, I, I actually said uh, nothing wrong with James. I've been to James plenty. And one of the things, uh, especially when I moved to Sri Lanka, uh, I wanted to do was that uh, gyms being so partly expensive and not mm -hmm. available to a lot of people. I wanted to see how you could have a regime, like a fitness regime, that didn't require that and still can stay in shape. What right. is your personal fitness regime? Uh, I run 30 minutes uh, four times a week, three yeah. to four times a week, usually around uh, Independence Square. This you can catch Asank. <laughs> You okay, can what call times, can, mornings or evenings? Usually mornings. I find also if when you run in the mornings, okay. uh, your body actually stays active through a long yes. period of yes. time. So you get the work benefits of the workout yes. through a long time. Even I must like say that. around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you get a little like... Uh, do you have your power nap in the afternoon? Sometimes, especially if I'm home, I'll take a 20 minute nap. You know, to so working for yourself, you have that luxury of having the power nap? Yeah, absolutely. It refreshes you and your mind uh, because one of the things when you're doing this is you're constantly engaged in decisions. Right? Your job is to make decisions. Uh, See, Asanka, sorry, you're at times like a child, I'm told. Uh, Adrian, who manages your brand, uh, says that, you know, uh, you're very exacting and things have got to be done for you. <laughs> yeah, Say absolutely. Something. Ab absolutely. <laughs> Design is about exacting, right? So, uh, I mean, this, for example, this shirt would not look the same if those buttons were half an inch off. It would not. Um, and you know, that watch, if the the font was maybe one more uh, size bigger, that would not have the same feel. So, design is uh, quite a bit about exacting, and that's what actually is an exhausting thing. Uh, coming back to taking naps. Uh, rest because you're constantly deciding half an inch, quarter an inch, uh, that kind of decision even on a piece of garment is, uh, is uh, what makes things different. So, talking of design, be exacting and the guy who's freaked out by mosquitoes, we bring sequence X to a close, we catch Asanka in, in a different lobby outfit in sequence Y here at the Kingsbury Hotel, Colombo's Prepping Hotel, timeless elegance and timeless charm. See you soon.